This moment is iconic. Not for LeBron's reaction. Okay, maybe a lot to LeBron smack talk, but it symbolized two forces butting heads. On one hand, you have LeBron James, this physical beast. And on the other hand, you have Stephen Curry, the skilled marksman. But how did we even get here? What if I told you that these two players go way back past the NBA and that their early history made Stephen Curry who he is today? day. What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. Stephen Curry and LeBron James have a long, long, long history. And I'm not talking about this fake rivalry because it's fake. I'm super excited to break down the history between these two players and how that shaped both of them, but I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button for faster uploads like Curry Hits 3. So like 1835, I'm trying to get this video wet. Pause. That that was a poor choice of words. But if we hit that, I'll release a video on Monday. Now let's get into it. LeBron James has been the poster child for Ohio, born and raised in Akron. But so was Steph. Well, he was born in the same exact hospital as Braun. At this rate, Steph is the real Akron boy. <laughs> Of course, I'm kidding, but it's as if fate was linking LeBron and Steph together. Although they were born 39 months apart in the same hospital, LeBron and Steph would lead very different lives. LeBron would struggle financially, but become a must-see prospect, and Steph would take in the game through watching his dad play in the NBA, but would be a nobody in high school. As time went on, LeBron would find his way into the NBA, and Curry was emerging onto the college scene. LeBron is a whole three years older and because he never went to college and curry would spend years in college lebron always seemed like the way older player physically and mentally it was also that case because lebron already had five years of nba experience by the time curry was a sophomore curry was getting his feet wet taking davidson on a cinderella story run in 2008 against wisconsin who's there watching lebron james yeah, LeBron, who would end up averaging 38 and 7 that season, had come to see the spectacle that was Steph Curry. But there was more to it than that. LeBron wouldn't just be a fan and watch it from the sidelines. He would end up doing a halftime radio show for Davidson and say that Curry would play in the NBA. Y'all gotta remember that no one thought Curry would make the NBA at that point. So for LeBron saying that, it meant a lot. And damn were we all wrong. Look at the baby face assassin hitting this three, and who does he look at? That's right, LeBron James. LeBron ended up coming for a second game, cheering Curry on, and even arguing with the refs in Curry's favor. Curry and Braun were also on texting terms. Nah, not like this. More like this. Oh, and that three he hit? It was his 42nd point, giving his team a four point lead with a minute left. After each of these college games, once in Charlotte and once in Detroit, Curry went to Braun's Cavs games and each time, Braun would meet with Curry and just talk. They were friends and admirers of each other. LeBron loved how Curry would just keep going no matter what. It was like a bromance with LeBron constantly praising Curry. Like, I mean a lot. Curry found a sort of bigger brother than LeBron, constantly thanking him in public for all the help. In November of 2009, Curry and LeBron would face off for the first time, but the day before, they hung out and bowled in LeBron's house. Yeah, Curry and LeBron hung out and LeBron destroyed him in bowling. The next day, the Cavs destroyed the Warriors. Remember, the Warriors were absolute trash. Dang, it's been a while since that's been true. After the game, LeBron pulled Curry aside and told him to block out all the noise. I think his advice was great, so I'm gonna say it too. No matter what's going on around you, you can control your effort every game. Your professional and just what you do day in and day out to get yourself ready. There's gonna be a time when it's all gonna work out because you'll be ready for that moment. So don't get caught up in the drama of what's going on with my team or a situation because you'll hopefully have a long career. Just words of wisdom and up to this point in his career, Stephen Curry had taken what LeBron James said to heart. And so this was no different. They would continue to stay in touch even if LeBron would whack Curry. 
well, not quite literally, but, but this block was still definitely something. The one thing you can take away from Curry is how he has isolated the noise from the outside world and has worked hard on himself instead of worrying about what was happening around him. LeBron reinforcing that in college and in the NBA gave Curry an insight he didn't have before, that he could control his destiny even in the NBA. I mean, LeBron was the best example of that as he had controlled himself in the biggest spotlight. To this very day, Curry has always been a professional. And to this very day, Curry has never worried about what was going around him as long as he himself continued to get better and in turn help his team. That's why Durant's transition was so seamless because Curry focused on what he could do to help instead of relying on others. And all that stems from having LeBron as a role model early on. Curry has stated that those initial years with the Warriors were tough amongst the team being a little trash and with Curry's injuries. While Curry never exactly said LeBron's advice helped him, he has said that the support of his friends and that all the advice he received helped him stay committed through all those years and tough times. I don't think LeBron could have ever expected Curry to become the face of the organization that would haunt him for years. Like, this babyface assassin became his nightmares. Man, that's rough. Like, just imagine a floating Steph Curry face just just there man even their comments in the media about each other through the years have always showed admiration LeBron has called Curry unstoppable and Curry has called LeBron a freak of nature and a guy with high IQ despite all the antics that have gone on from the Curry tombstone the Cavs Halloween party to Curry mocking LeBron's dance to even these past finals Curry and LeBron haven't forgotten their past and when they used to be close now they're supposed to be enemies they are supposed to hate each other but they don't the heated matchups the legacies they've always been opposites but they've shared similar mentalities. It's crazy that all of this started in the same hospital in Akron. But what do you think? Did LeBron really help Curry? Who will end up with more rings? And are you team LeBron or team Curry? I would appreciate if y'all would subscribe and drop a like for Curry or LeBron cause both of them are great players. Also, this took a lot of research. So if you wanna see more videos like this,